Hey, this is Dave White with Quad City Safety, here to talk about some things that, these are some little gadgets that I have over here, and we'll get close-ups on these, but what this is, is when we go with our personal protective equipment, most everything has inspection. So that whether it's fall protection, which has a inspection that the daily authorized user needs to do, or whether it's the annualized uh, competent person, there always are some things that you need to do to check your personal protective equipment. And the one thing that I wanted to talk about in this one is the need for the competent person or actually uh, the case for deep inspection. So maybe sending things back to the manufacturer. So what I have here is I have two different devices or two different things. And what this guy is, is as you can see, this has kind of been hollowed out. This was actually part of a pulley system that was in a retrieval. So what had happened is it had worn out. And as you can see, over time, these, these people were still using this when we actually got it and inspected it. And so you can see that we could have had a catastrophic failure where maybe we're, we're pulling somebody out of confined space and this could have failed. It didn't, but uh, until we did a real deep inspection, this was not found. This guy right here is a little, in a SRL, this is kind of the break, braking system. And it's real hard to see from here, but we'll do a close up on it where you actually see that it's worn. And the reason that it's worn is this came out of a three-way device, which it was being used wrong. So they were lowering employees into a confined space, usual, utilizing the three-way winch that's not built for that and thus basically destroying these little teeth so when it actually goes to engage for the fault protection, it could have failed. So again, there's a case for inspections on a daily basis, but competent and deep inspections are always the case that we need to make sure to have a safer working environment.